I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things I've got my eye on for this autumn. There are so many things I have in my basket in all different places all over the internet. So I wanted to share some of what's on my wish list, some of what's on my might be ordering very soon, some of which is on my is on its way here. And give you guys some tips on some pieces to look out for. So we're going to start with accessories because I've actually realised that I don't have tons of full autumn winter accessories i think i could be doing a better job and i definitely think that the trends that we're seeing for this year could definitely be integrated into your wardrobe with accessories like you don't have to spend lots of money on them you don't have to buy loads of different things to look up to date so i've been looking at handbags and you guys know i do have the mark jacobs the tote bag that i use for work but i have been i'm in an r in about buying it in brown or like an off grey colour because I feel like sometimes black every day all the time is just a bit too much and it's, it can be a bit harsh too. So now we've moved into full winter, I'm thinking that I either want a brown bag or a red bag, like a burgundy dark deep red bag. But I already have a red bag so I'm leaning towards brown. So basically all of that mental gymnastics has led me to the Coach Brooklyn bag. And this bag comes in two or three different sizes. It comes in a 39, which is the one that I'm considering is the biggest. It also comes in a size 28. And I think I've also seen it in like a really small, almost like a Prada nylon re-edition size, like fits right under the armpit kind of size. But basically I'm looking for a bag that is huge that can fit everything that I need for work that is brown. So on my short list for like the last few months has been Marc Jacobs bag in brown because I know I like that bag and I'd pick it up in a leather as well. I was considering canvas, but I really enjoy the leather. So I was thinking of picking it up in leather, but this Brooklyn bag in suede brown. Yes. It's delicious, it's lovely. I really, really like this bag. If you guys saw my Bista Village vlog, I don't know if it's my last one or the one before last, I showed you guys that I went into Bottega Veneta and when I go into Bottega Veneta, I feel as though heaven opens. I absolutely love going into that shop. So I went in there and I tried on the hot bag, the large one. And ever since I tried that bag on and left the store, I have been seeing it in my dreams. It keeps coming up as a bag that I really, really want. And the price of this bag is astronomical. It is so expensive. And usually for my more expensive bags, I usually lean a bit more occasionally with my luxury bags. So I wouldn't usually think about spending tons of money on a catch-all hobo style tote-like bag. It's not usually a style of bag I would spend lots of money on, but this Bottega Veneta bag in the Chartier weave is actually better in person. When I tried this bag on, angel sung, it was so good right so basically i'm fighting my urge to just go back to vista village and pick up this bag the hot bag in a brown because that's what i'm feeling like i want to do and i'm trying to temper myself and talk myself down and on my way down i've discovered the brooklyn bag and i actually like the lana as well so for me it's between the brooklyn and the lana i actually think i prefer the style of the Lana, but I think I prefer it very small. And also they don't have it in the exact same brown suede as they do the Brooklyn. They have the Lana in a suede, but it's in like a lighter suede and I kind of want a more warmer brown color. So hot bag is definitely on my list. Hot bag in brown in suede. I'm actually gonna be going back to Bista Village. So I'm gonna see if they've got it there that I can maybe try it on. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know I'm tall. So the size of the bag is not really an issue for me as in I don't feel as though the size of the bag is gonna overwhelm me. And I definitely need something that I can just put everything in. And I just think it's gonna be just right. I'll be trying that bag and guys, if that bag does not work, Bottega Vinet is gonna see me, okay? Because I cannot get that hot bag off of my mind. The next thing on my list is a boot and you guys would have seen in my, I think it was my full wish list from last year that I had Jimmy Choo Elise boot on my list because Jimmy Choo goes up to quite large sizes. I have large feet. It's not easy for me to shop shoes. And I wanted to invest in a better quality boot that I could wear 
for loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of autumn winters for loads of years that would look nice and keep its quality. So that was on my short list, but I wasn't sure about the heel height. And I think I had seen Jackie Aina try it on and she had a bit of issues with it fitting around her calves. I don't usually have issues with my calf size, but I was postpartum. I do have little twins, they're two now. My weight has been going up and down. And so I felt like I didn't really wanna have to fight with the shoes and then the shoes have a heel and then I'm not sure, like getting on London transport, getting on the buses, getting on the trains and everything in the heel. I was just umming and ahhing about the boot. I do love the look of the boot. I think it is a very classic style of boot that I would probably get tons of wear out of, but I just wasn't sure about it. But more recently I have seen, they have a boot called the Yasmin, which I think is a bit more of a trendy boot. It's a bit more boxy. It's a bit less feminine, but it is a bit more practical for me in that it doesn't have a heel. And I am definitely looking for a boot that is easy to wear, just goes with everything, and I can just get tons and tons of use out of. And so the Yasmin, I have my eye on, just like the Bottega hot bag, the Yasmin boot is not cheap, okay? So my natural disposition is always to lean like expensive. I, I like the expensive things, okay? I like them. But I'm always trying to talk myself down. Like I, I, I actually have to talk myself down because I'm out of control, okay? I genuinely believe I was supposed to be like a billionaire's wife or something. I just love really nice things. And so that boot I've been kind of circling, but then on my way talking myself down, I landed at Stuart Wiseman and they have the KER boot, which also is expensive. You know, expensive, I guess is relative, but it's less expensive than the Jimmy Choo, right? So I've ordered them. They're coming. You guys should see a review in my next video or a video coming soon. They go up to a UK size nine, but their boots run large. I already own a pair of Stuart Wiseman boots in a UK size nine that fit fine. It says on the website to go down a half a size or a size with their boots. So I'm hoping they'll be very generous and therefore they will be just right for me. They have a similar kind of vibe, right? Just every day, not super casual, but can be worn professionally, comfortably kind of boot. So we're gonna see how Stuart Wiseman goes and if that doesn't work, Jimmy Choo's also gonna see me because I'm probably gonna end up picking up the Yasmin. So you guys will know that animal print is very, very, very much in, right? And so I've been looking at a few pieces I can pick up and I definitely don't mind leopard print, but I'm definitely more of like a zebra, snake, croc print kind of girl right that's my vibe and as i was looking around i saw this roberto cavalli body in what looks like a zebra print they've described it as animal print and it's just so cute i think it's very nice okay if you're ever gonna shop for some roberto cavalli then now is the time right for winter 2024 is a time to shop some roberto cavalli animal print for him is definitely a staple. So you're definitely gonna be able to pick up some prints from Roberto Cavalli, but I saw this top and I thought that it actually almost looks real life, like a real life zebra, and I like that. The only thing that's making me hmm about it is that it's 200, it actually looks like it's an offer, but it's 215 pounds and that's a lot to pay. For me, it's a lot to put on a more trendy-ish top or bodysuit, but I really, really like it. I have also seen a few pieces from Zara and I've ordered a top from Mango in what's more of like a cow print. So basically, I'm gonna see if I can find any other top that will scratch that itch. And if not, then I might be buying this top. It's kind of like a catch-22 because I feel like if it was a leopard print, I would not be concerned about the wearability of it. I feel like I know that for definitely like the next five autumn winters, I wouldn't look out of place or it wouldn't look aged, right? But I definitely prefer zebra. Zebra cow, any other print but leopard is what I prefer. I just feel like it, it reads a bit younger. But yeah, this top is very, very, very nice. If you're looking for an animal print top to spend a bit of extra money on, yeah, her, she's cute, right? Very, very nice. 
Next, I recently did a Meshki haul, right? Meshki has been emailing me about all of the very, very cute things that they have, right? And I think there's a model, I think her name's Jasmine Tolks, has a collaboration with them. And so, of course, I had to go and have a look, right? And I came across this blazer called the Mila. The Mila shaped blazer is £139 and it is delicious okay it is so 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 cute when i was on my online shopping spree when i picked up my boots and i've ordered a coat as well this blazer was in a basket my issue is i cannot figure out what color to get it comes in a navy and this kind of brown print and i like both i actually think i prefer the brown my issue is that i already have a couple of brown blazers so i'm a bit like i feel like i would probably get a bit more wear from the navy because i don't have a navy blazer so because i was going back and forth back and forth back and forth about what color i didn't end up picking up any but let me know what you guys think which one do you think is better the brown or the blue i don't know but I love the shape of this blazer. It's got kind of like a strap that runs at the back that looks like it might be adjustable. So it kind of sucks you in. And at this point, it's been years. For years, I have had on my mind the Hourglass blazer from Frankie Shop. Every single time I go on that website, it is not available. I don't know if they just don't like me, but every single thing I want from there is unavailable. And they actually have a concession stand in Selfridges that I went to a few, it must have been a couple of months ago now. I went there and asked about that blazer and they were like, yeah, no, sorry, we don't have it. So I've actually given up on Frankie Shop. Also, their shipping fees for us overseas is quite expensive so i'm kind of like maybe the next time i go to paris i will go to one of their stores but until then i've given up on wanting anything from there so i feel like this blazer is really nice and especially the brown the gold buttons yeah beautiful so i think i don't know i i think i'm probably going to end up with this blazer if i do i'll be sure to share it with you guys okay so next is this blazer from cos and don't ask me why i was on cos because actually i have no genuinely good reason to be on there other than i was trying to find a coat and i thought i would stop by there to see what they had because sometimes they have some really cute outerwear and in doing that i came across this beautiful draped blazer that is 125 pounds and from the front it looks very unspectacular right it just kind of looks like a plain black blazer but from the back it is beautiful and it actually looks like it's a bit sheer so definitely a bit more trendy definitely a bit serious but a bit playful right which is definitely my vibe so this for me would be something that i'd wear for work and just put like a normal blouse underneath it so you wouldn't really see anything out the back i actually do have a blazer that is like this from mango it has a detachable bolero and then the middle of it is open i don't think i ever showed you guys that but i do have something similar i don't wear it tons because it kind of falls at a weird length but hopefully I'll get to wear it this season. But I'm also going to be picking up this blazer because I think it's very cute. It's a 10 out of 10, definitely would recommend. So next on my list is the Isabel Morant Kimberly coat. And again, I was looking at coats. I was kind of going back and forth about, do I need to pick up a trench? Because I do have the leather trench from the Pretty Little Thing collab that they had with Naomi Campbell that I really, really enjoy, but is definitely more of a dressed up coat for me. And I kind of need a coat for work. The weather has definitely turned and I want to be cute, but I also want to be practical. So I have picked up a coat that I will probably share with you guys in a haul. So I, I don't think I'm looking for a trench like coat anymore, especially if the coat I've ordered works well, but I definitely wouldn't mind a more of a casual, more puffer, oversized e coat, right? And I've been leaning towards like oversized biker jacket e styles. But when I saw this Isabel Morant one, I thought, oh, my gosh isn't she so cute she's very very cute i love the brown it's kind of giving like a 90s vibe but it's very very playful overall i just think it's very cute i think i'll be making a visit 
to Selfridges or some, somewhere like that sometime soon. So I'm gonna see if I can try it on in store. I do really like the oversized fit. I think with a pair of wide leg dark jeans, okay? And then maybe a pair of trainers. And it's also a bit more unusual than like a, your standard puffer, right? With the, the way the front is cut. So I like that. Okay, next is a skirt. And this skirt I saw in and other stories. This greeny, ready print skirt. Similar to Zara, sometimes the items on and other stories can look a bit unspectacular, right? But when you see them in real life, they are actually not too bad. So I went into the and other stories store and I was immediately drawn to this skirt. It is beautiful in real life. Do not underestimate it. It is very trendy. You know, it's got the red in it. It's got the green in it. It's cut on the bias, chef's kiss. It's long, all the things with a pair of boots. If you can get like a, a burgundy boot, yeah. And other stories are actually also doing a very good job on their accessories. So if you are looking for maybe a textured bag, a, you know, a, a simple Bottega Veneta-ish bag, shoulder bag, maybe a East meets West bag, you know, a long bag. They have so many of them online and in store that are very cute in very, very nice colors. So I would definitely recommend checking them out as well for not only the skirt, but for their bags in particular. Also, and other stories have this blazer that has a tie. They're describing the color as a purple, but to me, it looks more of a burgundy, like a deep reddish purplish color. Beautiful. I have gone back to the And Other Stories website over and over again to see if it will appear in my size because it seems to be sold out in most of the sizes that they have. But I love this take on a blazer. I think any kind of structured blazer that adds a bit more femininity to it. So whether it's got a nipped in waist, whether it's kind of got some kind of plunge or some kind of button or belt on it. It's a bit me, I love it, right? I feel like it's a way to be serious but playful. I love it in this reddish color. I actually might put notifications on so that they can let me know when they have it in. As soon as it's in, I'm gonna buy it. I think it would be perfect. Not only if you need something to wear professionally, but to wear casually, you can just wear it as like a coat on the milder days, put something cute underneath it and you'll be good to go. So I hopefully will be picking up that too. So I hope this video has been able to give you a heads up on some of the items that I think are worth checking out for this season. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on quite a few of them. Do be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you would like to see what I'm able to get. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.